Hello everyone, welcome to another video. If you are new to my channel, please remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified as soon as I upload a video. Remember to like, share and comment. Thank you. In this video, what we are going to focus on is addition and subtraction of matrices. Now, there is one important thing that you must know. We can only add matrices or subtract matrices if they are of the same size, right? So, if the matrices are not from the same size, then we cannot add them together. The reason being, we have to add the corresponding terms, right? So here on my screen, I have three matrices, which is matrix A, B, and C. Matrix A here have four elements. Now, we describe this matrix by saying it is a two by two matrix. And the reason for saying that is that it has two rows and two columns. Matrix B is also a two by two matrix. It also have two rows and two columns and matrix C is also a two by two matrix it also have two rows and two columns so which means these matrix can be added or subtracted because they are of the same size note as well that corresponding element I put them in the same column so here in matrix A, 5 is corresponding to negative 4 in matrix B and is con corresponding to 5 in matrix C. So the corresponding position or the corresponding elements are color coded. Alright? Now the example here, we are asked to find A plus B and also b plus c and a plus c and a minus b and c minus b so let's begin so let's look at the first example we are asked to add matrix a plus matrix b so we want to find a plus B. Now, we know that we are adding corresponding elements. So A plus B is going to equal to. We are going to add 5 plus negative 4. So it's going to be 5 plus negative 4. And then it's going to be negative 1 plus positive 3. So it's going to be negative 1 plus positive 3. And then it's going to be 2 plus 0. It's going to be 2 plus 0. And it's going to be 3 plus 1. So it's going to be 3 plus 1 therefore a plus b is going to equal to 5 plus negative 4 is the same thing as saying 5 minus 4 so that's going to leave us with 1 2 plus 0 that's going to leave us with 2 negative 1 plus 3 is the same thing as saying 3 minus 1, so that's going to give us positive 2. And 3 plus 1, that's going to give us 4. So therefore, A plus B is going to equal to 1, 2, 2, 4. Alright? Let's look at B plus C. So now we want to find B 
plus C so B plus C is these two matrix so it's going to be minus 4 plus positive 5 then it's going to be 3 plus negative 3 so it's going to be 3 plus negative 3 then it's going to be 0 plus 8 so it's going to be 0 plus 8 and then it's going to be 1 plus 0 so it's going to be 1 plus 0 so therefore our final answer is going to be minus 4 plus 5 is the same thing as saying 5 minus 4 so that's going to be 1 0 plus 8 that's going to leave us with 8 3 plus minus 3 is the same thing as saying 3 minus 3 that's going to leave us with 0 and 1 plus 0 that's going to leave us with 1 so therefore b plus c is going to equal to 1 and 0 8 1 all right so now we're going to look at how we calculate the value of matrix a plus c so matrix a is plus c remember that we add corresponding elements so we're going to add 5 plus 5 here then we're going to add negative 1 with negative 3 so it's going to be negative 1 plus negative 3 then it's going to be 2 plus 8 it's going to be 2 plus 8 and then it's going to be 3 plus 0 it's going to be 3 plus 0 so final answer is going to be 5 plus 5 that's going to give us 10 2 plus 8 that's going to give us 10 as well minus 1 plus minus 3 is the same thing as saying minus 1 minus 3 which is going to give us minus 4 and 3 plus 0 that's what's going to give us 3 so our final answer is 10 minus 4 10 3 all right now we're going to look at how we subtract so we're going to look at matrix a minus b and a minus b is going to be 5 minus a negative 4 here and then it's going to be minus 1 minus uh, positive 3 so it's going to be minus 1 minus a positive 3 then it's going to be 2 minus 0 so it's going to be 2 minus 0 and then it's going to be 3 minus 1 so it's going to be 3 minus
minus 1. And when you are subtracting matrices, you have to be careful of the signs and the double signs. So our final answer is going to be 5 minus minus 4 is the same thing as saying 5 plus 4. Because negative times negative, that's going to be positive. You can always put a negative 4 in bracket wherever you have two sign in the middle. So this is going to be positive 9. Then 2 minus 0, that's going to leave you with 2. Minus 1 minus 3, that's going to leave you with minus 4. And 3 minus 1, that's going to leave you with 2. And here, now to our final problem, which is C minus B. So C minus B is going to equal to 5 here minus negative 4 then it's going to be minus 3 minus 3 to be minus 3 minus 3 then it's going to be 8 minus 0 so it's going to be 8 minus 0 then it's going to be 0 minus 1 so it's going to be 0 minus 1 So final answer is going to be 5 minus minus 4 is the same thing as saying 5 plus 4 and that's going to give us 9. 8 minus 0, that's going to give us 8. Minus 3 minus 3, that's going to give us minus 6. And 0 minus 1, that's going to give us a negative 1. So our final answer is going to be 9, negative 6, 8, and negative 1. Now that's how you add our subtract matrix. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you would have enjoyed this video. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share.